Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to give a few updates of the Gen 2 Thai import, uh, UK spec one, and uh, what we've done at the moment, and uh, yeah, let's have a look. So the first modification done was take out the bar ends. To remove the bar ends, WD-40, Phillips, hammer, and a wrench. That's all you need. The bar ends are quite long, and they have these little rubber pieces on here that grip. Very, very long. Some people want to put um, hand guards and things like that, so they want to take out these units so they can change it and put the, the hand guards on. So, what you want to do, get your Phillips, get it out like that. Sometimes they put a bit of glue in there, so it's a little bit tricky. And undo that. See, it's got a little step on it as well. You can see that. Step on there. Same as there. It's got a little step on it. Once you remove the bolt, drop the bar end off, put back in the hole, thread it in, get as many threads in as possible. This is still in the handlebar. Bit of WD-40, chuck it down the handlebar, you want to lube up the rubber. You want to lube these up. And all you do, crescent over the top of it, holds it like that. It's in the bar, and then just gently tap it. You know? She comes. It's that simple. No special tools needed. But you can see the length of that. Absolutely massive. So I think it dampens the handlebars and stops the uh, mirrors from vibrating. But I've taken it out and I've not noticed really any vibration. So there you go. Sweet. So uh, I could fit it at the house. Second one, mirrors. Adjustable mirrors. It's again so I can get into the house so but they work great for any of the bush as well or doing tracks and trails and they're available on amazon for about seven quid so they're quite quite affordable usb there you go and they go straight into the headlight into a clamp into there into a uh, box and the only other wires that's sticking out would be that one there which is your earth you put that into there and this one also comes with a red wire, which is your live all the time, I think, that you can put spotlights on. But that's just plug and play, just go straight to the headlight, into the back of that. And that's an easy one. Pump that straight in. This next upgrade is to the OP Mid Speedo. Open your mind. So for speed adjustment, you need to go to 1.3. 1.1, 1 1 1.2, 1 1.3. Speed adjustment at 120%. 1.3. That's what you need to do for the Gen 2. Next mod is the primary reduction ratio 5.1. And you need to set that for 4,100 or 4.1. That's the only way that one will work. 5.1 to 4100 all speedos come with a data entry sheet and you just put in the data and then the CT125 has little brackets around it and you just add the values in so the only one you need to change as I said is the speed find adjustment which is 1.3 and you need to 120% and then you go down to the primary reduction ratio which is 5.1 and put in the value 4100 and that's the only way you'll get that to work properly on the gen 2 as the primary reduction ratio is completely different from the gen 1. so let's talk racks everyone loves a rack so i think this one's got a g craft and that is held on there a couple of screws up here the toolbox still stays in the same place and it's got a couple of spaces in here which brings it out and it goes on to the back of that and that's quite a good one and you can put a saddle bag on the side of that to stop it swinging in and you don't have to change much i think some of them you have to drop the toolbox into a different position obviously you've got the the, uh, the basket on the back there which is a great mod putting it slightly back like that it gives you room to take any extra luggage in here uh, cool seat, 
This is a Chinese cool seat. Probably not as good as the, uh, the proper cool seat, but it's just there to stop that seat from getting damaged when you put your leg over and getting scratched and things like that. Then we've got the spine rack. Fits on there quite easily. A couple of bolts go in there, and there's some spaces fit in there. And a bolt in there, and then some rock straps. Rock straps are the best thing ever, ever. They can you put your load on there, pull them up, pull them up, and adjust them as well. Same again on the front, the rack on there. And that's a two-piece unit and that runs lugs into the back of there one lug in there another lug goes in there and there's another one in there i believe and then that goes to the front and that's one and that's two and this is kind of like the old ct110 posty bikes they used to have this so i'd really like to have kept that i've got that so that's good yet again got the rock straps on there and you put all your kit on there that's quite easy it doesn't look too bad as well Let's talk about the gearbox. The gearbox is a rotary system. Starting first by pushing down, second, third, fourth, all down, comes to complete stop, push down again, goes back to neutral, goes around in a circle. Please bear in mind that this, the Gen 2 has a completely different engine than the Gen 1, even including the engine mounts. A Gen 1 engine will not fit into a Gen 2, and a Gen 2 engine will not fit into a Gen 1. Completely different engine mounts, different engine. Watch out for my next video when the, the 125 goes for a 145 cylinder kit, a cam, and a different ECU. Looking forward to that. Look out for that one. Coming soon.